I am a 19 year old professional video editor with almost half a million views to my name and I'm gonna show you how to start editing like a pro in 5 minutes. This is gonna be in DaVinci Resolve because that's what I use and it's also completely free but if you use something else there's still gonna be value for you in this video. After you download and open DaVinci Resolve you're gonna see this and click new project. You're gonna spend most of your time in the edit page over here and we might come back to other pages later. Right click here and go to import media to choose your clips. This is the media pool where your clips are, this is the timeline where you put your clips, this is the preview where you see your clips and this is the inspector where you can change the little settings about the clips. Within the inspector you can change the size, position, rotation, you can flip it, you can crop it and some other cool things I might talk about later. Now to slice a clip like this press ctrl b or command b if you use a mac for some reason. You can move the clip around like this, if you want it to snap like this you can click here. Now there is a lot of other cool things here so I encourage you to experiment but I think we should jump straight into the cool stuff. I'm gonna show you how to make these free cool things, animations, whatever they are. The first one is your logo glued to a person's head like this. You can use any stock footage and your logo, get the footage from YouTube or Pexels or any on the internet really, just make sure it's copyright free so you don't get sued. You can track the image using keyframes or the fusion page but I'm going to show you an even quicker way using a plugin that is also completely free. I love free stuff man. You're going to download the tracked image plugin by Patrick Sterling, amazing YouTuber, amazing guy. The link is in the description and it will take you to this page. Fill out your info, click download, open the WinRAR thing, double click the file and this will open in the Vinci Resolve. Then click download and you're good. Now take the stock video of your choice and place it on the timeline. Go to the effects tab, effects, sterling supply and track damage. Now drag it onto your clip. Go to the inspector tab and effects. Now go over here and choose fusion overlay. Put this little thing over the eye or the nose of the person in the video and click this button. Now wait a bit until you see this and this means you're almost done. Now click browse and just find wherever you put your logo on your computer. Then adjust the position and you're good. If you want it to lag less, I usually render it like this. Just makes it a bit smoother and you can also reuse it later. We have the first animation complete. I use this all the time when I edit. It looks good and it's really not complicated. Second animation is this little guy with your logo popping up with some cool background. Go Google Images and find some cool background. It can be whatever you want. Doesn't even have to be high quality. Get the background into your timeline and adjust the size. Then go to the effects tab, effects and find an adjustment clip. Put it over the background. Go, go to the open effects and find Gaussian Blur. Drag it to the adjustment clip and do the same with camera shake. You can search it up to find it faster. In the inspector tab, drag these down a little bit. You can experiment to see what kind of a shake you like and boom you have a cool little background now for the character find a picture of a human make sure the background is transparent get creative here find something cool on google images and get that into photoshop if you don't have photoshop i'm sure you can use any photo editing software this is really a straightforward process put your logo over the head of the guy export it as png and get that into davinci now drag it above the adjustment clip find camera shake again drag it onto him find whatever settings you like here and also put a little drop shadow on him from over here and there you go we got a nice little animation now if you want it to pop out you need to go to video transitions and find push. Drag it onto him, make it shorter and go to the inspector tab. Over here under transition you will pick push up, add a little bit of motion blur like this and ease out. Now go to YouTube and find a no copyright whoosh sound effect. Find one that sounds like this and just drag it under your transition. And there you go, you got the second little animation. Bonus tip, you can also save the transition like this to use it later. You will find it over here under video transitions and then user. By the way, if you stay to the end, I'm gonna show you some bonus tricks you can add to this animation. Now this third one is really just text, but some cool things you can do to make text look better. To make this cool pop-up animation, you'll need to go to titles, get a text plus and drag it into your timeline. You can change the color, size and font over here to whatever you like really. If you want to add a black border, you can go to shading up here, number two, red outline, change the color to black and adjust the thickness to whatever you like. This is just how you get text in general. But go to open effects and find transition drag that onto text plus and go to effects. Now with your playhead at the start of the text clip like this, click this little star next to zoom, then with the right arrow key on your keyboard go forward 3 frames and click the star again, then 2 more and click it again. Now go back to the first star, you can navigate them by pressing this little arrow and make it about 100 points smaller like this, then go to the second star and make it about 100 points bigger. Scroll down, click animation, drag the motion blur all the way up and now you have this. Now to save this text preset so you can use it later, you will go over to power bins. If you don't see power bins, enable them by going to these little three dots and click show power bins. As you can see, I already have a lot over here. You won't have anything. Just right click on the folder and new bin. Name it whatever you want. This is going to make a little folder. It's going to stay here on every project that you make. So just drag this text into the folder like this and boom. Now you can just add it to your timeline whenever you want and change the text to whatever you like. Now I promise to give you some bonus tricks. So here they are. If you add an adjustment clips and add 
transform to it, you can do this. Go to transform, mark the little star at the beginning of the clip, go three frames forward and then mark another. Then just zoom this in as much as you like, go down to animation and boost motion blur all the way up again. Now you have this little zoom in animation, I like this a lot. And you can also save these adjustment clips into your folder and just place this little zoom over anything anytime. You can also add an adjustment clips and go to inspector of the adjustment clip, then click on the dynamic zoom and you will have this smooth slow zoom out. You can swap it to make it a zoom in, change the duration by changing the adjustment clips length and also change how much it zooms by clicking this drop down, selecting dynamic zoom and then changing it like this. Now this is only the surface so if you want more then just press that subscribe and I'll provide you with whatever you need. Bye.